Hi, this is Pastor Greg, coming to you maybe not live, but alive, alive with hope and anticipation of all the opportunities we have to be God's people in the world. This week's opportunity comes to us from Matthew, the 13th chapter, beginning at the first verse, where Jesus gives us the parable of the sower, where he talks about a sower went forth to sow, and some of the seed fell on the sidewalk, some of the seed fell among thorns, some of the seed fell in really shallow soil, the rocky soil, and some fell on good soil. Jesus is talking about the seed of his word and the good news that we as his followers have to share. Well, I, I know a story of, of Henry Ford. He was known as a, as a big philanthropist and gave money to a lot of, lot of organizations and things, but he didn't give money to schools because he was a business person and no offense, school personnel, but he didn't want to give it to schools because they weren't business people and he didn't think that they would do right with the money. So he didn't give to schools. Well, a lady named Martha Berry came to him one time requesting some money. Even though she knew that about him, she thought she'd give it a try anyway. It's the early 1900s and she wanted to start a school because she noticed some neighborhood kids who um, were on the poor side and didn't know any Bible stories or anything. So she started a school for them, but she needed some money. So she went to Henry Ford and he turned her down. So she said, well, instead, will you give me a dime? I want to buy some seed. Give me a dime. Well, he didn't really understand what she was getting at, but he gave her a dime and off she went. A while later, she requested to meet with him again and she brought him $600. She said, what I did with that dime was I bought some peanut seeds and the kids and I planted peanuts and harvested and planted and harvested the whole season long, and they sold it, and they made $600. And Martha Berry said to Henry Ford, look at what we've done with your dime. And with that, Henry Ford gave her the $600 back, plus another $2 million. And with that, she built the Berry School in Mount Berry, Georgia. I think the town must be named after her too, I'm not sure. But she built the Berry School, the Berry College, and I believe it's still there to this day. So, what are we doing with the seed that God plants in us? Yes, we come across some rocky times. Yes, we come around some thorns. Yes, we come around on the path. But there's always good seed. And we always go forth to sow, knowing that God's word will take root. We do the sowing. God takes care of the rest. Thanks be to God.